Only a, an overachiever like Dave Owen could get precious about calling himself an amateur astronomer. Judging by the uh, self-penned mini profile and his voluminous web presence, there would seem to be a tension in his character between spectacular business acumen and good old-fashioned Kiwi humility. Anyone who retires at the age of 31 is hardly an average bloke. Anyone who chooses to live in Te Awamutu is hardly your average tycoon. <laughs> Even the Finns got out of town. A one-time psychiatric nurse, musician, television director, and web designer, like myself, Dave was born in the year of Star Trek. Clearly his life bears the stamp of Roddenberry, for Mr. Owen is the current president of the Hamilton Astronomical Society. Dave Owen. Thank you very much. There are heaps of things that I love about space. I'm, what's not to love? It is awesome, isn't it? The thing that gives me the biggest kick, though, in my passion is the fact that I can share it with other people. And I do this a lot through my work at the Hamilton Observatory, but tonight I'm going to be focusing uh, on the projects that I run myself with the help of my family. Uh, this is my secret lair. Uh, it's actually our home business office, but it doubles as the base for our space activities. And uh, there's a lot of really cool toys and things in this room. As you can imagine, uh, I love hanging out in this space, and I love having other people come around and share it with me. So if you want to give me a ring in, come around for coffee and, and uh, play on my toys, I'd love you to come around. Um, I've got a small collection of space memorabilia in here. It's nothing really to boast about, but I've got some quite nice items, including some things that have been in space. Uh, my favorite item is um, a set of instructions printed on cardboard that were used by the astronauts on Apollo 9, and I, I love showing that one off. Um, this is my favorite toy. This is a space simulator. It works a little bit like a video game, so you can fly around in space and you can get a real sense for how the whole universe is working. It's a great, uh, great toy, and it incorporates a multimedia presentation system so I can mix it up with videos and photos and uh, show it on the projector screen there. So, so that's a lot of fun. Um, we occasionally do group bookings in our little office there. We can fit about 30 people in here. Um, and um, I usually use the space simulator as part of the, the talks that I give there, which is really cool because it's quite interactive and we can respond to what the audience is asking for. We can visit places in the universe and see how it all works. So it's an awful lot of fun. I also like to get out and about. I do a thing called sidewalk astronomy where I go and set up my telescope in uh, some random location and just ask people as they pass by, do you want to come and have a look? Uh, th this is quite a different experience, mainly because these people aren't expecting it, which is really cool. Uh, you know, when you're just stopping off to grab a pie, you don't expect to be getting a look at the moons of Jupiter. So it, it goes really well. It, it's quite a challenging way to do astronomy. It's quite limiting, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, we often get a group of people standing around and get really worked up and excited about it. And that gives me a real kick, uh, getting to people who would never, ever normally even think about going and, and having a look through an astronomical telescope. Um, I also do daytime sessions and school visits. These children are looking through a solar telescope to, which uh, enables you to safely look at the sun. And again, for a lot of these kids, this is perhaps the only time maybe in their whole lives that they're going to get an experience like this. So that's something uh, really special for me. And while I'm out with um, kids like this, I like to do uh, a few activities like this one here. These children are using a uh, fishing line and some ball bearings to learn about the size and the scale of the solar system. So this is the sort of thing that I always uh, try and, and, and get involved in, is teaching some basic astronomical concepts that people can use uh, so that they can better understand astronomical news and other things uh, later on. Uh, and here's an example. I want to go through this because this is something that everyone should know. I'm sure everyone here does, but bear with me. We live on a planet, in a solar system, in a galaxy, in the universe, okay? It's a little bit simplified, but if everyone could think of the universe and th that four level structure, then you're well on the way to understanding how it all works. And from there, you can go outside and you can see that. You can see that four level structure of the universe from your own back garden, if it's dark enough, if you're lucky enough to live somewhere in like Te Aumutu, for example. Um, <laughs> 
honestly, you can see the whole thing if you just know what it is that you're looking for. So for example, here's um, a simulation of the sky above Hamilton. We're in the solar system, right, we know that. It, it, when The solar system is a disk. When you're inside of a disk, it looks like a line going all the way around you. If you know where that line is, you can go outside, on any clear night and you can look at the solar system, which is part of our universe. All you've got to do is know where it is. From there, you can see all the nearest stars in our little corner of our galaxy. Each of these stars, or most of them, have their own solar systems. But you're not just looking at stars. The, the red arrow in this picture is looking at, uh, pointing at what looks like a single star in the constellation of Orion, but it's not. It's a nebula. A lot of you will be familiar with this. This is what that same thing looks like through one of the telescopes that I normally use. It's not that much to look at, and to be honest, most people are pretty disappointed when they first see it, but again, it's about knowing what you're looking at. So this is actually a huge area in space, many light years across, and if you uh, were lucky enough to be able to look through the Hubble Space Telescope, this is actually what you're looking at. So. Um, this is what's called a stellar nursery. So, as I say, it's a huge area in space where new stars, new solar systems, new worlds are being born right now. You can see them with your own eyes if you look through a telescope. Hey, it's just about knowing what it is that you're looking for. This is a, another stellar nursery. This is called the Carina Nebula, and it's not far from um, the Southern Cross. It's a pretty beautiful picture. I love this image, but the more you know about it and the more you learn about this image, the more spectacular it becomes because you really start seeing what's going on in here. There, there are new worlds being born there right in front of your own eyes. Uh, now this particular slide here, someone else, it turns out, is using the next couple of slides later on, so I'm going to leave this for him to explain what's going on, um, but I'm just going to say that there really is a whole universe out there to explore. You can see it with your own eyes, you can see it better with a telescope, um, but the more you know about it, the more cool it is and uh, space really is cool. In fact, I think we live in a golden age of astronomy. Despite all the challenges that are facing our field, we're developing tools and systems to learn about the nature of the universe and therefore the nature of ourselves in ways that were absolutely inconceivable when I was young. So it's a really exciting time to be into astronomy, and if you want to get amongst it, please come along to Hamilton Observatory. Um, it's right there in the car park by the zoo. We're open a couple of nights each month. We're looking at the transit of Venus, uh, weather permitting, hopefully. Um, and um, there's lots of interesting people there to come and talk to. Some would say eccentric people, um, but th th there's, we have a lot of fun up there and we would love to have you. And if you want to learn um, more about me and, and my projects that I've been talking about, or if you want to get hold of me, want to have a cuppa and hang out in the space room, I would love to have you around. Dave.co.nz is where you'll find me. Thank you very much. Transit of Venus sounds fantastic.